Corbell's jellyfish wops are real giant black jellyfish. Object filmed by cruise ship captain in 2020 that plunged into ocean. Welcome to the UFO news. It's time to explore. The truth is out there. A significant surge of interest has surrounded the UAP unidentified aerial phenomenon, Enigma, drawing widespread attention to the recently released jellyfish UAP footage. Filmmaker Jeremy Corbell unveiled this captivating footage of a peculiarly shaped UAP, captured at a United States Joint Operations Base in Iraq. Corbell remarked that while the object's shape is unusual, such sightings have been reported since the beginning of the UFO phenomena. Confirming its authenticity, the Pentagon has officially stated that the object in the video, the object navigated through a sensitive military installation, eventually moving over a body of water where it executed a controlled descent, submerging beneath the surface. After an observation period of approximately 17 minutes, the UAP resurfaced from the water and rapidly accelerated, surpassing the capabilities of the observation platform's optical scope. The origin, intent, and capabilities of this anomalous aerial vehicle remain shrouded in mystery. It retains its official designation as a UAP. It flew over the military base and then moved over water. It descended into the water in a controlled manner and disappeared for about 17 minutes. After that, it came out of the water and quickly flew away at an incredibly high speed that the observers could not keep up with. The eyewitness explained that the object was hard to see with normal night vision equipment, and it seemed to block the camera's ability to focus on it. Even though it did not look like it had typical engines or wings, it could stay in the air and move around. He likened it to a Star Wars droid, emphasizing that it is not a standard or common shape of you. Dr. Sidigas published his new paper, Initial Results from the First Field Expedition of UAPX to Study Unidentified Anomalous Phenomena and Provided Scientific Expertise on Speculation about UA Propulsion Systems. He points out that known objects do not change temperature so quickly. This phenomenon raises a couple of possibilities. Some might argue that the rapid temperature change merely results from an issue with the camera, like a smudge or distortion on the lens. However, Dr. Sedegas dismisses this possibility after closely examining the footage. He notes that the object's size changes as the camera zooms in and out, and the camera reticle shifts relative to the object. The other possibility, Dr. Zudekis considers is that the object might have capabilities to manage its signatures. This leads to further questions about why such an entity would choose to reveal itself. In News Nation writes, the object moved through a sensitive military installation before moving over water, where it began what Corbell describes as a controlled descent before submerging. After 17 minutes, the UA pre emerged from the water and disappeared at a high rate of speed. The video released by Corbell did not include that. While Dr. Sidegagas acknowledges that initial impressions might suggest a simple explanation, like a smudge on the camera lens, he stresses the importance of considering all available evidence. He emphasizes that without additional context, including more footage from various angles, and a deeper understanding of the event's circumstances, drawing definitive conclusions remains challenging. Well, the change in color, which normally could represent a temperature change, may be an artifact of the camera and the system. We don't know yet what this is. There are so many pieces of the puzzle that have yet to be confirmed. This is very early days, so I don't want to say about the temperature change. And again, with the transmedium travel so far, the only bit of this video that I've seen is the bit that you're showing now. I have yet to see the part where it apparently goes into the water and comes out. But if that is what people are saying it is, that is certainly something to watch. And it's one of these so-called five observables, this apparent ability to move seamlessly between water and air that we hear about. And that is noteworthy for sure if it's verified. Right. Nick Pope, former mod UFO 
Corbell had a conversation with the sources from where he learned that the UAP considered potentially hostile due to a potential payload, could not be locked onto, and the platform appeared to have been jammed. He told Liberation Times, if UAP are able to penetrate our sensitive military installation with impunity disabling our primary targeting and defense platforms, we must consider the role stigma and secrecy have played in corroding our ability to acknowledge and respond to such threats. Jellyfish UAP is not a traditional shaped op, but there are sightings of such unusual objects. In 2020, Captain Kate McHugh of the Celebrity Edge Cruise ship saw a similar UFO hover over her ship for a few moments, then described as the jellyfish-shaped UFO plunged directly into the ocean. Damn night, and I have a drone on board, so I thought it would be a good night to catch a sunset. I had a drone in my hand, and someone said, what's that? And we look up, and there was I put it on TikTok. It looked like a black jellyfish, a gigantic back jellyfish, and it sailed right over the retreat, directly through the center line of the ship, right through the center line of the ship, right through our X and our stack and just floated though. The thing is, we had no wind, maybe five knots at the time, but this thing was cruising along about 10, 15 miles per hour just cruised right over, and as it's passed the stern of the ship, it went a couple hundred meters, maybe three or four hundred meters, and then it started to descend into the water. But because it was sunset, we couldn't put a rescue boat down to see what it was, but it disappeared into the water, and we had no idea. F.O. It wasn't a drill, there was no noise associated with it. So if you want to see our UFO, it was on TikTok. According to an earlier report by the Scotsman, Harrier jets engaged in a dogfight with a bright light above the Queen's Highland home at Balmoral, and a glowing white ball like a flying jellyfish was spotted over East Kilbride. These sightings were reported in 2002 and 2006. Corbell has been talking about UFOs being shot down by the militaries around the globe. He said that people often get upset with him when he says that you apes are continuously being fired upon. During his podcast with Joe Rogan, Corbell revealed a lot of shocking information about UFOs that have been monitored by the U.S. military over their airspace. The jellyfish UAP constitutes the fourth piece of footage provided by Corbell and Knapp, showcasing objects of unknown origin captured by military platforms in Syria and Iraq. Other instances include the Baghdad Phantom, the Mosul Orb, and the Syria Damu. Corbell told Liberation Times, The UFO reality is an uncomfortable truth, and it's time to bring this issue fully into the light. The public has an inherent right and need to know the truth about what UFOs represent to humanity, and we must approach it head on. According to Corbell, the Five Eyes report was published months after the incident occurred and indicates that on 14 December 2021, an RAF Typhoon jet shot at one UAP using an Azraim missile. At the time, the incident was reported as the first enemy aircraft shot down by the RAVE since the Falklands War in Argentina more than 40 years ago. Corbell stated that Centro United States Central Command has been tracking a peak for over 15 years, and the frustration lies in the lack of proper reporting and handling of these incidents within the chain of command. He noted that in conflict zones, there is a tendency to shoot at anything within a certain proximity to ground troops or bases, especially if it appears to have a payload. However, the issue arises in the lack of recovery or proper handling after such engagements. Thanks for watching my video. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments below and please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to the UFO News because together we will explore